Hi, in this video we are going to solve few problems based on arithmetical progressions. So the problem statement says find the sum and last term of the following sequences, right? So the first sequence is 7, 3, minus 1 up to 15 terms. So let me first write the first sequence. First sequence is 7, 3, minus 1. This continues till 15 terms. Right? So as I suggest, first we have to check whether the series or the pattern is arithmetical progression or not. So how do we check? We subtract first term from the second term. That means we have to do 3 minus 7. This gives us minus 4. Right? And then we have to subtract second term from the third term. Third term is minus 1 and second term is 3. So minus 1 minus 3, this also gives us minus 4. So from here, what can we say? From here, we can say that difference is equal to minus 4, which is uniform. So this progression is arithmetical progression, where the first term is equal to a, this is 7, and difference is equal to minus 4. And how many terms do we have? Yes, we have total 15 terms. That means n is equal to 15, right? So what we have to do? We have to find the sum and the last term. So what is the formula for the last term? Last term is equal to L and this can be found as A plus N minus 1 D, right? Here we have to find the 15th term. So if I put the values of A, N and D in this formula, A is 7, N is 15, minus 1 and D is minus 4. So this will become 7 plus 15 minus 1 is 14 multiplied by minus 4. Right? So if I solve it further, L will be equal to 7 plus 14 multiplied by minus 4 will be 4 4s are 16 1 carried forward 4 1s are 4 plus 1 5 and one term is negative so it will be minus 56 right so L will be equal to 7 minus 56 and 7 minus 56 will be equal to minus 49 right so this is the last term and what is the formula to find the sum S is equal to N multiplied by A plus L by 2. Right? What is N over here? It's 15. A is 7. And L, as we have found over here, it is minus 49. So minus 49 by 2. Right? So this will be equal to 15 multiplied by 7 minus 49 will give us minus 42 divided by 2, right? 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 1s are 2, minus 21. Minus 21 multiplied by 15 will be 15 1s are 15, 5 I'll note down here, 1 is carried forward, 15 2s are 30 plus 1 is 31 and since this is minus 21 it will be minus 315. Right, so sum we have got as minus 315 and last term we have got as minus 49, right? So this is the solution for the first progression. We have found L is equal to minus 49 and sum is equal to minus 315, right? So these are the solution for the first pattern and then we'll solve another pattern. So let me first remove all these calculations. So the second pattern over here is where the first term is 2a minus b, second term is 4a minus 3b and third term is 6a minus 5b and this continues till 40 terms, right? Yes. First we have to check whether this is arithmetical progression or not. So for that I'll subtract first term from second term. So it will become 4a minus 3b minus 2a minus b, right? So this will be 4a minus 3b 
minus 2a plus b. Right? So, what will it be? It will be equal to 4a minus 2a is 2a and minus 3b plus b will be minus 2b. Right? So, this is the difference between second and first term and now we have to find the difference between third and second term. So, it will be 6a minus 5b minus 4a minus 3b, right? And now if I open the bracket, it will become 6a minus 5b minus 4a plus 3b, right? 6a minus 4a will give us 2a and minus 5b plus 3b will give us minus 2b, right? Here also we got the same difference. Here we had the difference equal to 2a minus 2b and here also we have got the difference as 2a minus 2b and if I take 2 common it can be written as a minus b inside the bracket 2 multiplied by a minus b so what we have got yes we have got the common difference that is d is equal to 2 multiplied by a minus b and we already have our first term over here which in this case we'll represent as a1 because we have we already have a over here so let me represent the first term as a1 and this is equal to 2a minus b right and how many terms do we have in this series yes n is equal to 40 so n is equal to 40 because this series is 40 terms long right so what do we have to find next? Next we have to find the last term and last term is equal to a plus n minus 1t and here we are representing first term as a1 plus n minus 1d. d is 2 multiplied by a minus b. So this will be equal to if I substitute the value of a1 as 2a minus b plus 40 minus 1 multiplied by 2 times a minus b right so this will be equal to 2a minus b and 40 minus 1 is 39 and 39 multiplied by 2 will be equal to 9 to the 18 1 carried forward 3 to the 6 plus 1 7 78a minus 78 b right so this will be equal to 78a plus 2a is 80a and minus b minus 78b will give us minus 79b right so this is the last term of the series and what we have to do next next we have to find the sum sum is equal to n by 2 multiplied by a plus l right so n is 40 by 2 a is 2a minus b and l is 80a minus 79b right this will give us 20 40 by 2 is 20 and inside the bracket we'll have 2a plus 80a is 82a minus b and minus 79b will give us minus 80b right and this will be equal to if i take two common from here it will be 41a minus 40b so this will be the sum of the pattern right so we have got our last term l is equal to 80a minus 79b and sum we have got as 40 multiplied by 41a minus 40b right so these two are the solution for these two number patterns